All right, howdy everyone. Let me squeak past this tripod here. All right, so I'm gonna demonstrate a little bit on how I plan on drilling these holes on this round sleeve that I was just talking about earlier. So you can use a milling machine, a drill press, it really doesn't matter. Um, as long as you have some kind of an XY table where you can move your piece back and forth or if you don't, you can set up a fence on your drill press so that you can continuously, whenever you move your tube around, you can basically put it back in the same location. But for this purpose, I just want to show you how I'm going to do it with the tools that I have. So the first thing I have is, is this tool here. This is a center finder for round stock. You chuck this in your drill press and then your round stock will be in your vise. And then you, you come down and you find your round stock and it will deflect this arm. But then as you move your fence or you move your XY table, your round stock will move and it will move the tool until you get these two lines lined up. Now you know that your drill chuck is centered over the tube. And I'll start with that. So let me get this in. Snug it just a little bit so it doesn't fall out. Now I'll bring this down. Let me, let me offset this a little bit. So I'm going to bring this down until it rests on the tube and you'll see it deflect. See that? I'll do it again. Bring it down until it rests completely on the tubing. Just like that. You can see that it's deflected. And now all I need to do is move my, my round stock until the lines on the tool line up. You can see how it moves. I'll go past it. You see how that moves? It follows the tubing. So now I'll just dial it in until those lines match on the tool. Just like that. Check it. Right there. All right, so now I know that my drill chuck is in perfect alignment with the center of this tube. So I'm going to tighten down my stops a little bit. It's good. So now that alignment is done. Now at this point, all I need to do is put in my drill bit. Now what I like to do when I'm drilling on rounded surfaces like a piece of tubing, I like to use what's called a center drill. This little drill, um, it's not an actual drill bit, it's basically just used so that you can locate and start a pilot hole. If you use a drill bit on a rounded curved surface, the drill bit, as it comes in contact, it's going to want to roll around. This will not do that. These come in different diameters, so I'm using a relatively little one. Put it in here. Of course, tighten it down. And now that I've got, using the alignment tool that I just showed you, this is not going to move. So I can unclamp it, and I can spin it around, and I can move it, whatever I want to do. When I clamp it back into place, it will still be in alignment with this. So now I need to just roll over to one of my lines that I have already drawn on here. Bring this down to my mark. So on my stock piece, as I had shown before, I've got these lines drawn across here that represents the six uh, locations for the um, for the rivets and then for me personally I just measured back a half inch from each end and put a little tick mark across each line so those are that represents the exact location for each rivet so now all I need to do is put the tubing in bring my center bit down as close as I can get it to the tube and then just line up that mark. Once I have the mark lined up, 
underneath the uh, centering bit, the center drill. Lock it down. Now at this point, I just drill. All I gotta do is I'm gonna add a little bit of cutting fluid. I use my center drill to start the pilot hole, take it out, put my number 30 drill bit in, come down and make the hole, rotate this, bring it down, get the, the uh, center drill over top of the mark, tighten it, center drill it, drill it, move on to the next one. That's it. That's how I'm going to do it. I'm not going to bore you with videotaping the actual process. I think it's kind of, I think you can kind of figure out where I'm going with it. So that's what I'm going to do. Let me get those drilled. I'm going to do both ends and then uh, we'll see how it looks. All right, talk to you later. Here is the uh, setup that I've come up with so far. So the, um, well here, let me start over at the airplane. All right, so I've got the center block it's not bolted in. It's basically just sitting in place with the bolts going down through the holes just to locate the block. And I use that just as a measurement. So if I measure from basically the center of the hole here where the flat mechanism would be located, if I measure from here out, the plans that I have, they say that that length should be, I think it's 20 and a half or 21 and a half inches, whatever it is. And if I measure that from the center here, that puts the handle up in this area, which I don't like because this is where I have my manual trim for the aileron. So I don't want the handle coming up into here. So, um, considering that length, I, I would rather have it maybe stop no closer than like this edge here. So somewhere in this area is where I want my handle to stop. I want room to get to it without being so close that I may inadvertently hit something up here. So with that in consideration, I just basically got lucky because I had ordered this piece of tubing. I had ordered 12 inches, which is what this is. I had expected I'd have to cut some off. But once I figured out how short to cut this piece here, I didn't consider how long this was. I was only considering how long this needed to be so that it wouldn't interfere with this slot once I put the sleeve on. So I went ahead and I cut this and then I figured out what length I wanted this to be. And then I took a measurement and I thought, okay, I need like 13 inches. And then I realized, but I only have 12. I should have either bought a longer piece of this or I should have not cut so much off of this piece here. However, with it all together, this overall length from the center line of this uh, weldment out to the tip here is about 15 and a half inches. And if I measure that on the airplane, that puts the end of the handle roughly about right here. So I'm going to go with that. I don't know that another inch or two would make that much difference as far as a mechanical advantage goes. And like I said, I've already gained some mechanical advantage using this with the shorter arm. So at this point, I'm going to go with what I have. Obviously, I have no idea how well it's going to work. Uh, in flight, so that's something that we'll have to revisit when the time comes. So I have this piece now made, and you can see I've got the slot in it. Of course, the slot goes all the way through, and uh, I know, again, I understand that not everybody has a milling machine, but uh, obviously 
You can probably tell by looking at how clean this is that I've made this on my milling machine. Here is the sleeve and it's been drilled. As I said, I had it located. I had the lines located. I had the marks located for each individual hole. And this was done on the milling machine as I just explained. So now this is done. All I have to do at this point is clock this rather than just throwing it on here and match drilling it. I want to clock it so the holes are lined up. Either have the holes lined up vertically along this line or rotate it so the two holes kind of straddle that vertical line. I just want to clock this to make it look nice. Then of course this piece, this is very important. This needs to be oriented so that it, that slot is straight up. If it's off at all, it's going to interfere with the piece that has to fit through here. So this has to be definitely located vertically. And then, it, of course, I want to, I could either have the slots and the holes all lined up. Or, like I said, I can stagger this a little bit so the slot runs down, the center line of the slot runs down between the holes like I said, when I get ready to match drill this, I just want to make sure I have it clocked so that it looks nice. So now at this point, I am before I start match drilling anything and riveting anything, I want to get these painted. And that's kind of where I am right now. I'm not sure what color I want this to be. I don't necessarily want white inside the cockpit, but these are just so stinking nice with the powder coat. And these, this, and the rudder pedals that I'm leaving these white. This, however, is not going to be white. I don't know what color. I'm, right now I'm thinking probably black because I happen to have some nice black paint that I'm going to try. I don't really have any other color on hand. I'd have to make a trip to the store and, you know... Black, I think I can make work, so I might go with that. You guys don't care, so I'm going to shut up. Next up, I'm going to make the part that goes in here, I believe. this The part that rides in here is curved, and it's got notches cut in it. I think I'm going to start on that next, um, but we'll see. Let me get started on something, and I'll get back to you.